An aqueduct is a bridge constructed to move water over large topographical gaps. The Romans didn't invent the structure, but are well known for the architecture because a few partial structures still survive in various locations like France and Spain. The word cantilever in architecture describes a condition in which an object or building projects outward while unsupported over an unspecified length. The structural rule of thumb for a cantilever is two-thirds support allows for one-third unsupported. The term facade refers to the face or elevation of a building, many times the front. Just as it's said a person can put on a facade, a building does the same in order to convey an image or connotation using style and aesthetics. An obelisk is a tapering square or rectangular marker or monument with a pyramidal shape at the top. The first objects with this shape were seen in ancient Egypt. They've been used ever since to commemorate events or memorialize individuals or accomplishments. The architect designs with all kinds of shapes depending on his or her purpose and preference. In fact, in 1876, Gustav Fechner did a study that determined people visually preferred the shape of the golden rectangle to other rectangles. The Lloyds of London building was designed by Richard Rogers. The building looks unusual because it's clad in stainless steel and because the stairwells, ducts, and elevators are expressed on the exterior instead of hidden on the interior. Oscar Niemeyer designed the Roman Catholic Cathedral of Brasilia. The building is constructed with 16 sections of concrete that create a hyperboloid shape. Each weighs almost 200,000 pounds. The building was completed in 1970.